get it. You did it. Shorts and short sleeves. All right. It's not that warm. Have fun. And with that, hello everybody. For the third straight day here at PNC Park in Pittsburgh, Zach Hample with you. And I am still on milestone home run watch, but not the milestone you're thinking of. Andrew McCutcheon going for his 300th home run. Not playing. I hate booing this place because it's so beautiful. But Brian Reynolds has 99 career home runs. So I'll be trying to catch number 100. But before that happens, this place is opening about 90 minutes before first pitch. So let's get inside and see what kind of pregame action we can stumble into. Okay. <laughs> so as expected, not a whole lot of activity on the field for now. No batting practice. And even though the Pirates are playing catch in left field, there are so many Pirates fans out there, and there are really only a few baseballs to go around. So I think I'm gonna give up on that and head over to the first base side because there are a few Orioles just starting to make an appearance. And strategically, I think it would be better to focus on getting a ball from the visiting team. This is my 21st lifetime game at PNC Park, and yes, I've been to the upper deck several times before, but hey, given the fact that I got a baseball early on and it's extra chill today, why not check it out again? Absolutely glorious. I mean, everything good that could be said about this stadium has already been said a million times, so instead, I'll tell you what my plan is for today's game. The Orioles are facing a left-handed pitcher, so their lineup is going to be stacked with righty. So I'll mostly be in left field for them. But then at the top of the Pirates lineup, they got O'Neill Cruz and Brian Reynolds, two lefties. So I'll probably hustle on over to right center field. Lots of standing room today, lots of shuffling for position. It's going to be crazy, but I'm ready. out this way.
100 right now. Well, the big lefty bats at the top of the Pirates lineup connected, but those balls did not leave the ballpark. O'Neill Cruz with a long double and Brian Reynolds with a long flyout, but that is promising. And this game was actually scoreless until the fourth inning when the Orioles bats came alive. They got a few guys on base and they plated a couple of runs. And so that's where we stand right now. O's are on top, two to nothing. And I continue to go here and go there, trying to make something happen. And after this game, I think something's gonna happen. So get ready for that. And if you just follow me around this way, you can see where I am in this bar area where people love to hang out. I'm just out of the walkway in left field because it's so crowded and noisy. It's noisy everywhere. Something happened that might have been a triple. But uh, I'm gonna head back to that walkway now and see what's going on there. right along because it is a pitcher's duel. Orioles are clinging to a two to one lead as we head to the bottom of the seventh inning. And I just got to shout out my friend who gave me free tickets today. Thank you very much, Robbie, Mwah. love you. And also, if you guys notice this shirt under the hoodie and jacket, this is one of my own. So go to zackcampbell.com slash merch, pick one up for yourself. And uh, other than that, Once again, just like the game here yesterday, things got crazy at the end. The Pirates, trailing by one run in the bottom of the ninth, loaded the bases with nobody out. And with Rowdy Telez, a powerful lefty stepping to the dish, I decided to haul ass to right field because, I mean, walk off grand slam? Uh, yeah, that was definitely on my mind. But Rowdy hit a ground ball instead that appeared to tie the game on a bang bang play at the plate. So the fans went nuts, but the Orioles challenged and got it overturned. So as I headed back to left field, Baltimore was still briefly holding on to a two to one lead. And then on the very next play, with the bases still loaded, 
Edward Olivares grounded one up the middle, which Gunnar Henderson fielded for a force out at second, but he threw the ball wildly to first base, allowing Connor Joe to jog home with the winning run. So yeah, like I said, things were crazy, but hang on, my day was not yet done. I mentioned earlier that I had something in the works after the game, and do you see the lineup card being peeled off the bullpen wall right here? This is a cool spot to hang out with Pirates relievers walking down the stairs right in front of you, but okay, look at the coach who's hoisting the ball bag onto his shoulders. That's Tim Cousins, and look what he did. He walked over with the lineup card and handed it to me through a space at the bottom of the chain link fence. And another fan actually tried to grab it from me. Turns out she had also been promised a lineup card. So for a moment, she thought that this one should have been hers, but I'm glad to say that she did receive her own right after. So no harm done. And in fact, she's a season ticket holder here and has always been very cool with me. Now, of course, I was thrilled at that point. My priority always is catching baseballs, but I truly love lineup cards and they're hard to get. So every single one of them holds a special place in my collection and in my heart. And for right now, I'm back outside the stadium to wrap things up for you guys. Now that coach, Tim Cousins, was also the guy who threw me the baseball earlier in the day. So he really hooked it up for me. That one ball, which I gave away, does count for the lifetime total. So that number creeps up just a little bit to 12,442. But let's talk about the lineup card, shall we? Show the nice people a close-up look at this thing of beauty. I really, really, really love it in case you guys can't tell by now. And what you should know is that on my website, zachhample.com, which you should totally check out, there is a whole page of lineup cards that I've gotten going back more than 20 years. So check the description, I'll throw a link to that page. It's really cool, you can click the thumbnails and look at all these things full screen. So uh, yeah, you'll see this one on there as well. Game time today, two hours and 11 minutes, a crisp affair. Um, and it's a good thing that the game went fast because I'm driving more than four hours now to go to Rochester, New York to watch the full solar eclipse tomorrow, cloud cover permitting. So by the time you guys see this video, Hopefully that will have happened for me. So again, lineup card, yay. PNC Park, also yay. Uh, that's it, I gotta go. Thanks for watching.